what's up guys it's the sluices here and we're back out gold prospecting so we've just come up river here with the metal detectors and we thought we'd scan some bedrock we've been doing a bit of test panning around not really much luck but gold sort of sounds in that bedrock there but it doesn't really look like there's a crevice at all so it might be really deep down in that big crevice and if that's the case it's a big bit of gold but we'll pinpoint it seems to think there's a target there so we'll get that one out for you I don't think it's a really faint target but if you can see that that is a wee bit of gold right there bit of a flake so we'll get that bit out. Maybe it was that it was just sitting right on top, but it was so faint I doubt it. But anyway, that's still a nice the bonus there, so we'll get that out. Got a nice loud target from in there. Sadly, it was just a piece of iron. However, in the pan, look at all that fine gold. There's actually quite a lot in that crevice, so that's not bad at all. If things go sour, we can always come back and clean this out. This is like a quarter pan of material just from a handful of that moss. And have a look at all that gold. It's all gold from one pan in the moss. Far out guys, that is a heap. I think I've just hit the mother load guys. So there was the moss gold from in there. I got some more from in there and in there. A little bit more scraped off there. Another one pan. Look at that. That is an absolutely insane amount of gold we're talking what five bucks probably you're going to try from one pan and that fine gold that is that's that's incredible it's actually incredible and for of all the bosses like this we have struck it rich guys another pan from a different crevice of moss not quite as much but still a ridiculous amount of gold for one pan in the moss. So I continued cleaning out that moss for a bit and got a good bit more gold. But I decided why not go upstream and do a little bit more metal detecting. Lo and behold, first target was something legendary. Woohoo! Guess what we've just got guys? We've got a big piece of gold. I've just radioed, radioed in dad to tell him he's upstream detecting. But, I'll get it out live with you guys, because this is a good E. This is a good gold here, a good gold. Not sure how big, it might, might not be too big. But, this crevice here, swung over, it's a solid target. Eagle Notch was only saying it was too deep. So I knew it was going to be big. Bringing up from negative 5 to about a solid 11. Can you see it? Can you guys see that piece of gold? Oh, that is a... That is a beauty! Look at that nugget! Oh, that is a stunning piece! Far out! Jeez, look at that nugget, guys! Oh my gosh! That's got to be up there with one of our biggest bits. But that is stunning! Yes! Look at that nugget! It's amazing! Right guys, so just below this bedrock, we've just got the nugget about two, two metres down, that's just dead radioing in. <laughs> really good target there, Dad's radioing me in saying he's got target after target. We have really got a big here. I'll do my best to do this one live. I don't think, it might not be gold, like it's... It's got a bit of overburden over the top. I'm going to chuck it out. Put that to the side. Louder. 
down at the think it was gone then. <laughs> no, down that one was a bloody hot rock. Oh well, still stuck with that nugget. We'll keep going. <laughs> we came across this bedrock around the corner to start detecting. Didn't actually detect this one. The detectors can't really pick it up. Can't get deep enough in the crevice. But there's a wee sunbaker picker. See that? It's a piece of gold. We'll get that out. Here we have it. Rather small, but that is still a nice wee picker. We didn't detect that, but if we wave it over. If it's close enough, the detectors could have picked it up, but that one just wasn't quite close enough. But that's still a nice bonus. Just got a nice wee target. We're sending a wee bit off, but down in the bedrock. Yeah. There is a big piece of gold. And there's another one, see? And in that crevice there, there's also a wee flake. You can see oh, that? That's right down there, yeah. And there's a bit of gold in the hole. You might get the snuffer and suck that out. So we got that bit out, and it's a nice wee flake slash picker, couple buck piece. And we have our other little piece sitting at the right end right in there, see it's just sitting there, we can suck it up, hopefully. Over there, over there. Just above the same crack, I really wasn't sure this one was a target, it was really bad, I was like, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to dig that, but we still did. It's not big, but it is nevertheless. Still a wee piece of gold. So always dig those really faint targets. <laughs> Got another target and it was a nice wee picker as shown. Got a really nice solid target in the speed rock here, so Dad's gonna get that out. Yeah. Yep. I'll come and pan this down with you guys with their kids closing it out. Hopefully we'll just we'll do it we'll do it somewhere we where we can recover it just in case. We reckon it's in the pan. Hopefully it's gold. No, no gold in there. No. Let's just scan over that stuff. Appears to be. Is that here? No. Just to be down in this stuff. We'll get the pan and rinse some. So we'll put the pan with some water.
in this crevice here. Right in this stuff. Okay, well anyway, I'll get back to you once we've got it out. Hopefully it's... Sadly, it was everyone's favourite. A lead shotgun pallet. What a stunning day. No other better time to be out gold prospecting. Before we wear it up, I just want to give a huge thank you to all of our channel patrons and a massive thanks to them for helping support the channel and making trips like this possible. I'd also like to give a bit of an extra thanks to HBJNL and Goldpan Fam. If you're interested in becoming a patron as well and helping support the channel, make sure to check the link in the description below. Now, let's weigh up that monster. So we've got our nugget here. <coughs> we'll see. 0.86, so not a bad nugget at all. That's pretty solid. This nugget didn't actually weigh as much as we expected, but that's because it's a specimen nugget. It's actually the gold still all attached to the quartz from the vein it fed out from. So if you were to sell a nugget like this, you'd actually get much higher premium over a regular just pure gold nugget, as it's so epic with all that quartz in it. Of course, we're never going to sell it though, it's such a beautiful piece. We also got about a fifth of a gram of fine gold, and then various other packers we got detecting that weighed up to about a tenth of a gram. So in total we had 1.4 grams of gold, which is not bad at all for a quick easy day's fossicking. If you want to see another video at this site where we pull out five gold nuggets in one hole, make sure to check the video on the screen now. If you want any gold mining equipment for yourself, make sure to check out Dredge NZ, the gold mining equipment shop in New Zealand. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.